Hello, my name is Carrie Thies. I'm here from Axiom Benefit Consultants, and today's video blog is on Blue Cross Blue Shield Early Renewal Procedure. So all small, um, under 50 small groups uh, that have Blue Cross will receive an early renewal option or an impact analysis if you haven't already. Um, it's going to come via email, and you might not know impact analysis, but this is your early renewal option for Blue Cross. Under healthcare reform, come 2014, when your group renews, you're going to have to change to a different rating structure than they rate now. And depending on what the structure and comp um, composition of your group is, it might help or hurt you. So we want to look at the options and either prolong those rating changes as long as possible to a December renewal, um, so you renew in December of 2014, or it's going to help you and you want to jump on those new rates as soon as possible, which would be January. When you get your impact analysis, if you open it up, you're going to see what you're paying right now, what your rates would be December of 2013, and then what your rates would be under the new rating factors in January of 2014. Based on that, you'll get a pretty good idea of which side of the coin you're on, but some the two main reasons why you would see a big discrepancy between the December and January numbers, um, the first is health rating. So policies uh, come 2014 can't be rated on health anymore. If you're a sicker group and been seeing medical increases uh, on your policy, this might help you because they're going to actually remove that. If you're a healthier group and you've been seeing somewhat of a healthy discount um, for not having as many claims turned in, this might hurt you. So depending on what those rates are, you're going to make the decision accordingly. The other thing that is changing is the way that they rate for age. So right now they can put an age range, uh, range of from like 1 to 8, 1 to 10, 1 to 6, somewhere like that. So your, your young person's paying maybe $100, your older person's paying $600. Um, under healthcare reform, all carriers have a 3 to 1 ratio. It has to be 3 to 1. Uh, so if your younger people, they might have to increase to get there. Your older people might have to decrease. Again, depending on your group's rating structure, that's going to affect your rates. So go ahead and look at that impact analysis and you'll see basically what you need to do um, or which option you should choose. If you do choose a December option, we need to have all the required paperwork into Blue Cross by September 23rd, which gives us not much time at all. This is very time sensitive. If you miss that deadline, there is no going back. You are done. You're going to renew on your normal renewal date, um, June, July, August, May, whatever it is. Uh, if you choose a January renewal option, the paperwork needs to be into Blue Cross by October 15th. And these deadlines seem a little bit short, but it's due to another provision of the law called the SBC rule, and it's making an off off renewal plan change and it needs to be in so many days prior which is why we have these very short timelines um, so this is something that you need to address you need to look at if your agent has not talked to you about it yet they have to and um, I'd be happy to go ahead and look at your early renewal impact analysis and give you my opinion of what I believe you should do if you need any help with the forms have any other general health care form questions you can contact me at my website uh, insuredbyabc.com you can also find me on Twitter at Insured by ABC. Send me your questions. Uh, send me anything that you have. I'll be happy to look at it. And if you have any other questions about healthcare reform and want to see another blog on another topic, go ahead and, and let me know, and I'll put one together for you. But um, definitely go ahead and open up that impact analysis email. Get on it as soon as possible. Get those forms in so you can save as much premium dollars over the next year as possible. So um, thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye.